watch the I measure the length of the thread. You can use measuring tape to measure the thread. To thread the needle or you can either dip the tip of the thread in the water or use a needle threader. I have already threaded the needle to save time. Then, then I tie a few knots at the end of the thread so the flowers can stay together. You can see how I do. I do two or three times. If the thread is out, I can cut it with the scissors. Okay. I also tie a loose knot at the eye of the needle. Like this you can see. I'm showing you this. Like I tie like this way. The knot should be loose. I do it so the thread doesn't come out when you're making the garlands. And also the loose not makes it easy to cut it when you're done with flower making like when you done you can cut like from here it will be very easy you can use whatever thread and needles are available or you can purchase you can buy this kind of thread online in craft stores or at walmart the kind of needle that I use, the link below. Now I'm ready to show you how to fold the petals. I take out the flower from the stem like this and take out the first three, four petals like these petals. I don't use these petals as they are pretty hard and pale. I keep the needle in my hand like this and then I start to fold. This is a hard petal. This is not as good. Okay. So you can see I will put my needle like this and hand like this and I will take four like this and this and I will take like this then again this this and put petal like this this is the third petal And this is the fourth pattern. If sometime you think that this part is too hard to fold, then you can break a little bit and you can fold. Works either way, you can do whatever you like. Patterns like go this way. And I will make, I will go around again and again until I reach to my desired length. can see like this and I can show it more it 
put like this, this, this. Now I can show a little bit more Togo, I can do a little more than you can show the same. Can you show me? <laughs> At the end you can use small flower or you can use little pieces piece of stem or you can use this leaf rose petal and rose leaf and you can do like this to so make it stable so now you have one pattern how it makes Now I will show you second style of folding rose petals. First I break off a little part of the petals like this. Then I fold it like this. Then I break it again. I make one round with five petals. You see that? I broke a little piece like this. I fold like this then I break again like this so there will five petals to make one round Then I will make more round until I reach the desired length of the garland. More round, same way.
always very nice to make garland for the deities. It's such a good meditation. And when we make the garland or do any service, that way we automatically think about our Guru Maharaj, how he works for Krishna, for Prabhupada. And that inspires us to do more and more service for Krishna. I'm very fortunate to be disciple of His Holiness Lokna Swami. He always guides me, always inspires me, then do some service for the deities. We have all this opportunity to serve Krishna by the mercy of Shri Prabhupada who made this society is called the International Society for Krishna Consciousness where we can learn so many different qualities, so many things to serve Krishna with the association of devotees. All glory to Shri Prabhupada who saved us, who gave us reason to live in service of Lord Krishna. It's quite amazing that Papa started this movement at the age of 70 and he left so much things for us to do. Making garlands, cooking for Krishna, distributing books, singing Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, reading Prabhupada scriptures, associate with devotees, ordering prasadam, that we all always like to do that. Prabhupada is glorious. His glories are made unlimited. I'm doing this service more than 20 years now and I'm never bored. Every night I think of tomorrow when the day will come, I will start to make garland for Krishna again. And that will make my connection with my Guru Maharaj, His Holiness, Lokana Swami. We always can remember our Guru Maharaj and be connected with different devotional service for Krishna and for Prabhupada movement. I have shown you two different ways of folding rose petals today. You can make you can make different petals by using both method of folding rose petals. Like I did this, this is a rose petal fold number two, this is the petal fold number one. So I use two different colors and two different size of petals. And this I use uh, petal uh, rose petal number two and you can see different flower color I use. And this is the rose petal fold number one and I use only one color. So you can make many different patterns for your choice. Thank you very much for watching this video and please share it with your family and friends. Hare Krishna, Jai Shri Prabhupada, Jai Shri Guru Maharaj.